we were talking about this earlier. Writing a novel is a pretty difficult task for most adults. And I know um, I've been thinking about writing a book on a couple of my experiences. And I've been thinking and I've been thinking and that's all it's been. <laughs> just thinking about it. I've not moved on. But imagine doing that at the age of just 13. Well, that's exactly what uh, Manal Faris uh, from Leicester has done. Her book is called The Boy in the Well, and it's, would you believe, 440 pages long. I've got the book in front of me. It looks really impressive. And uh, also looking very impressive is Manal herself, who's in the studio. Hiya. Hi. Manal, good evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for uh, joining us in the studio. Look, I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm in awe of you because you've written a book which most people kind of dream about doing, but you've actually gone and done it. So really well done. Uh, you're just 13 years old. So before we talk about the book itself, tell us how did this inspiration come uh, for writing the book? Well, I think firstly, it was um, there's this film or TV series on YouTube called Prophet Joseph. Mm. Uh, it wasn't originally in English, but it was dubbed in English. And then one day my dad comes home and he's like, oh, come on, everyone, let's watch this. So I started watching it and it was kind of boring at first. But <laughs> then um, after that, I was totally addicted to it. And then in the end, when I finished that, I really loved the story of Prophet Joseph. So that it kind of evolved from there. And Prophet Joseph uh, was a real character or was it a fictional character? Uh, he's real. He's real. Yeah. So he's a real prophet, and there was a picture eyes on him. So you got your inspiration from that, but why decide to put it uh, down in writing? Why write a book out of it? Well, I've always loved writing and reading, especially. And then before me as well, my older brother wrote a book. So my dad, he was always pushing me to write oh, a wow. book. Oh, yeah. wow. So it's in the family. Sort of. Sort of, yeah. So your brother wrote it. So you couldn't let him get away with that, could you? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, so your dad then kind of uh, nudged you to, towards writing the book. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the fact that your brother had done it, did that kind of give you the inspiration? Sort of, because if he could do it, then so could I, right? Mm, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, you tell him. <laughs> you tell him. So, so you, you started to write the book. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's all very well thinking about writing a book and then starting. But, you know, it's about constructing a whole novel, which is, like I say, over 400 pages long. How did you go about it? Did you get any sort of support or any advice from your school teachers or anybody else? Or did you just kind of uh, talk to your brother and your dad and, and kind of just uh, cracked on with it? Uh, it was mostly reading. Uh, there was a lot of how-to books. So I read a lot of them and then started planning. At first, it was just like notes, but then it got larger and larger. Mm, so, mm. Was was it hard to do? A little to start with, but then I got in the role. So once you get going, it was the thing good. just kind of then flowing? Was it yeah. the story was starting to flow? So do you make a structure? Do you have a kind of idea in your head as to exactly what the story is, or was it just kind of happening as you were going along? No, I planned the entire thing. Yeah. So I did like what each chapter would be, the events that would come in each part of the book, because there's four parts in the whole book. Yeah, and so you did it properly. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And how long did it take you to, to do all this? Uh, well, I started in last year, January, so when I was 12. And hopefully, because it will be released tomorrow, it will have been 16 months exactly. 16 months. Yeah. That's a long time. So while all your mates were playing in the sunshine and, you know, uh, playing on their computers and all that kind of stuff, you were sitting there writing your book. Yeah, a lot of the time. Yeah. It was in the morning, so everyone yeah. else was sleeping. I see, right. Because yeah. I was going to say, you, you go to school, clearly. Um, so how did you combine all that? Were you kind of doing it in the evenings or just in the mornings? Uh, I do it most days. I would do both, sometimes mm. in the mornings. And if I miss that because I love sleeping, I do it in the <laughs> evenings. <laughs> we don't we all. But, you know, I used to find when I was a student, I used to study. I used to really find it great studying in the morning. Uh, before everybody wakes up because it was really quiet. You weren't disturbed. There was no distraction. So uh, did you find that, you know, that was a time when your ideas really flowed? Yeah, that really helps because it will be really peaceful as well, especially outside the sun and everything. Brilliant. It'll be That's really good. great, isn't it? Yeah. So like you say, the book is formally launched tomorrow. How are you going to do the launch? What's happening? Uh, well, it will be in an event called NCC, National Children's Competition, which is held by this group called BMS, British Muslim Society. And they've given me some time on stage to talk about my book and release it. And then mm. after that, there'll be like a stall where people can buy the book. 
Brilliant. So people yeah. will be able to buy the book from the stall. Will they be able to get it anywhere else? Because I understand 500 copies have been printed. Yeah, so far. Yeah, so far. And then hopefully you'll, you'll print a lot more. Where else can people get the book if they want to read it? Uh, it will be on Amazon as, as well, well Yeah. after tomorrow. Brilliant. The first part is already on there. The other parts will be coming on. But... I'm not sure where else they can get it. Well, Amazon that, sounds yeah. good to me. Yeah, that's a great way of getting hold of the book. Uh, the book is called The Boy in the Well. It's the story of Prophet Joseph. So are you going to give us a bit of a, a, a teaser, a bit of a taster for what this uh, particular book is about? Give us a little well, idea. It's based on Prophet Joseph, as you've said. Um, he's the prophet of like the three Abrahamic religions, uh, Islam, Judaism and Christianity. So... Uh, it will be based on his life. Uh, as a kid, he was he had a dream, and when he told his dad, his dad interpreted that dream. He was a prophet as well, and he told him that he was one day he'd be great, and so he knows this dream. But then his brothers, they're really jealous of him because he's his father's favorite. So they plot this really bad plot, and uh, they dump him inside a well. Firstly, they thought of killing him, but one brother wouldn't let that happen so they dumped him in a well and he's taken to Egypt in a caravan and it's just his story of that. Fantastic, it sounds really interesting, I'm, I'm quite <laughs> tempted